Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and a little different type of video from me and we're going to build Lieutenant Titus as he is seen in the game Space Marine 2. So we're going to begin with some plastic glue, of course, uh, some spare components and I'm going to base him with this Primaris Lieutenant with Power Sword. Now you will need a spare chain sword, I have a lot of those from uh, the Black Templars kit and a Primaris head with the skull sculpted on the forehead. As you see here, I have tons of those heads laying around. A shoulder pad with a banner sculpted on it. You can even you can sculpt the banner yourself, but I really am not all that great at sculpting. So let's take the guy out of the box first. It's a gift from my daughter. She brought it from London, so thank you very much. All right, and you will need a piece of chain. You can buy these small-scale chains everywhere in jewelries, or you can use a cheap necklace. I bought mine in Veritas. Now, first we're gonna take his right arm and the spare chain sword, and the chain. The right arm has the power sword attached to it, so we're gonna cut that off. But first, we're gonna begin by removing the chain sword from this arm. Sorry for the grainy footage here. I zoomed in too close. So with an X-Acto knife I'm slicing very gently through uh, the chain sword in the hand, like this. And I'm gonna take a little nail file and I'm gonna smoothen, smoothen it out a little bit, the surface. Now we're gonna do the same with the power sword and I'm also using my nail file. And we're gonna slice this one off at the top of the hand, like this. And then we're going to smoothen that out as well with the nail file. Exactly in the same way. I'm leaving the jewelry attached to it. Just some extra detail. Now with some plastic glue. I really apologize for the grainy footage. Now with some plastic glue. Just a small drop. I'm going to attach the chain sword. This will bond rather quickly. Also make sure that you aim the teeth towards the outside. And now I'm simply going to build uh, some parts of the body. So we can get a feel on what the figure will look like. It's a very easy, quick conversion if you have the parts for it. So here I'm attaching uh, the left arm with the pistol. Now I'm gonna glue in the head. Nice. Looking cool. I like Captain Titus of a uh, of the first Space Marine game, and he looks cool in a. Uh, Part two as well. Now for the chain, just a dollop of super glue and these chains attach almost immediately. Now I do fiddle around with it a little bit more, just you can probably do a better job than me in wrapping the chain, but I just go around it just to, to make it look cool. Here I dropped it. <laughs> so here you can see me attaching the chain, just wrap it around it, around the, the wrist, the chain sword and the arm, like this. Now I'm gonna quickly make a base and I'm cutting up some cork but you don't have to do this, this is optional, of course. And uh, the, the cork it takes super glue really well and it almost bonds instantly with the base and uh, with the plastic miniature with the cork. Just wanted this guy to stand on a little bit of a special base as he is a special character. <laughs> well, for me. <laughs> Here I glued the cork on the wrong foot, but never mind. <laughs> so here he is, gluing him on top of this base. With a little bit of spare super glue on the base and the offcuts of the cork, just slap that on there. Now with a bit of plastic glue, I'm gonna glue on a Tyranid skull from the Citadel skull set. Now the shoulder pad and the backpack, the shoulder pads and the backpack will be glued on now. And the one with the banner glued that on his right arm. So far so good, <laughs> it looks cool. Lieutenant Titus. Looking good. I like the look of this character. Now, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to sculpt the, the cloth piece that he has hanging. I really am not good at sculpting guys so if you want to find a good tutorial on how to sculpt loincloths uh, check out other sites because i just quickly 
cut something into the shape of a loincloth and then I fiddle around with it till uh, I am happy with it. I smoothen it out with a little bit of water, play around with it with uh, my knife until I get basically a shape that looks, looks okay. But this is totally optional, you don't have to do it. So I smoothened it a bit more and fiddled it a bit more with it. And also the chain, I uh, moved it a little bit further down his wrist. And here he is finished and painted. So he looks cool to me. As you can see, that's uh, with the, the banner on the, the shoulder pad. It's not my best, not my best paint job, but I, he still looks very cool. And the loincloth, yeah, well, <laughs> as I said, there are better, diff better sculptors out there than me. A little bit of battle damage. But I'm happy with this figure and he looks like a Lieutenant Titus of the Ultramarines of Space Marine 2. So I'm, yeah, I'm happy with this figure. So if you want to build it, it was very easy to do. And I did not show a tutorial on how to paint it because everybody paints their uh, Ultramarines in a different way, I guess. But yeah, a quick, a quick video by me. I don't usually do conversion videos, but uh, I wanted to show this. So I am quite happy with this character. Definitely will be using him in battle reports as well. I do like the base. And here he is finished and painted with some uh, terrain around him. See some Tyranids rushing him. Cool. A few glamour shots here. Battling the Hormagons. So thank you all for watching this short video, conversion video. I know it's not what you used to by me, but I do hope you enjoyed it and maybe inspired some of you to build uh, Lieutenant Titus of the Ultramarines. So thank you all very much for watching, guys. And I really, really hope you enjoyed this one. And I will see you on the next one. All right, stay tuned. Bye for now, guys, and have a nice weekend. Bye.